Hey guys, today I want to talk about snakes. Snakes are a real thorn in your side sometimes in the Philippines, it's depending on where you live in Mindanao, they, they tend to have a lot more, but also where I live because of that, that jungle down there attracts a lot of um, snakes around here. We don't see them that often, but we see them often enough that um, it gets kind of concerning. But most of the ones that we have around here, we have pit vipers around here. I've seen several of them. I've actually had one sitting right next to me at one time. I was talking to my friend Dennis, and me and Dennis were here sitting in the cabana right, right where I'm sitting right now, actually. He coiled up right next to me without me even noticing. I was just sitting there talking with Den Dennis. We we're going back and forth. And all of a sudden I realized that there was something sitting next to me, something different. I almost had put my hand down um, right where he was. He was within like four inches of me and I slid away over this direction and almost hopped out the window there, the, the window of the cabana. And after that, I was a little bit worried about snakes. Um, but there's a lot of ways to get rid of snakes. We're gonna discuss this today. Most of the snakes that are here if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. But like, like it could be an accident, accidental. Like you go to put your hand down, and all of a sudden they're there. Like, like what happened with me? I mean, luckily, I got my dog next to me right now. So I mean, he's he he kind of looks out for snakes too. And sometimes you hear him barking out in the field. And I think it's because of snakes and stuff that are around here, because they're crawling. He notices them, or he 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 senses that they're around. Um, I've looked around here before. And I can see far away when I have my other glasses on, my good glasses. Uh, these are my, my uh, trifocals. So these I don't really see that great. But when I have my other glasses on, I can see far away. I can see things moving and slithering in the trees and things, you know, all over the place around me. I see birds and, and I notice things more. But when I have these on, I don't notice as much. These ones tend to make my eyes water. But anyway, over here in front of me, you'll see a tree down right there. And in that tree, on occasion, I can see pit vipers up there. And they're definitely pit vipers. I've, I've looked them up, I've seen the picture of them, I looked at the head, I saw the, the, the marks on the back, the red marks. Um, they're very bright green, and they're kind of scary looking. Um, but the one that sat next to me just kind of looked at me and said, you know what, you're not bothering me, I'm not bothering you. He took off and he, he climbed behind me, and at the time there happened to be a, um, a pepper bush there, a, red, a Filipino red pepper bush that was growing wild. And he climbed onto that and he crawled away. But the way to get rid of these things is, is kind of funny because we have a water dish over here for the dog. And somebody lifted up the water dish one time and found a snake underneath it. And it happened to be a venomous snake. I forget the name of the snake, but, and I, and I couldn't find it on here. Somebody else said it was definitely venomous. Um, it had about four different colors on it and it had yellow bands on it <clears throat> it had like red on there and blue and some really strange colors i'd never seen a snake with these, this many colors but anyway one of the guys one of the filipinos around here killed it and the thing kept trying to lunge at me the other half but it was having a hard time because it's half its body was missing but it kept trying to lunge at me as i was looking at it and i was like man Thank God that that thing is, is, you know, sliced in half and it's dying now. And I was looking at it and I'm saying, this has got to stop around here. I have to do something about this. And I, I, I started realizing it's water dishes. Um, they, they hang around food dishes for dogs because the food attracts flies or, or, or other insects or ants or whatever. They eat those. Um, water dishes or standing water attracts them. Get rid of Anything that attracts other animals, mice or whatever, and that's your dog food dish, your dog water, get rid of bird baths, bird feeders, because bird feeders attract birds and it also attracts mice on the ground because the bird feed goes down to the ground, the mice come around. It all, it, it just is a, it's an unending food supply for the snakes because they go after the birds, they go into the trees, they also will, will go after the mice on the ground. Um, you can also get some repellents on Lazada. They have different repellents. They also have um, some solar things that do ultrasonic and stuff like that. I'm not sure that those work. I've never really had any luck with ultrasonic for mice or bugs or anything like that. I think it's just a, 
a, a, a, a gimmick that just doesn't work. I mean, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. My belief is that they do not work. Um, I think that the, the, the things like that have sense. Number one, vinegar. Vinegar gets rid of them. They hate the smell of vinegar. You spray vinegar, they, they that, that gets rid of them. Cinnamon, clove oil, uh, cinnamon oil. All this stuff, if you put it around like your doors and stuff like that, that and you rub it on there once a week, because it does wear off after a while, put that around your doors. Also put the, um, the rubber thing across the bottom of your door so nothing can get in underneath there. Keep your doors shut at all times. Best to have air conditioning here. Don't leave doors open because it's going to be cooler because you're you're inviting snakes in the house. You really are, and someday you're going to open up a drawer or you're going to you're going to go in your refrigerator, and they tend to like places that are warm. So a refrigerator is very very inviting to them. Any place that's warm in there, um, it could be on top of your your air con your air conditioner outside where maybe the fan is warm or something like that. You know, it, it's it's anywhere it's warm. Could be a, a, a someplace underneath something in the corner and you, you, you're stacking clothes in there it might hide behind that or something because it tends to be warmer back there but if you really want to get rid of them remember you want to have some sort of like uh repellent and the repellents like i said you can buy them on lazada they have balls that you can put around also they do not like um mothballs but mothballs are, are are not good to put out in the environment there are things that are safer for the environment that you can get from Lazada. Um, like I said, you can also do the, the clove oil, the cinnamon oil, uh, vinegar. Vinegar is fairly cheap to do. Just just spray that outside every few days. They will not come near it. They do not like it. Uh, the other thing is gravel. Now, my cabana, we're buying gravel to put around this, all around it. I want to put a lot of gravel around it. It keeps, they, they, the snakes do not like gravel. The more gravel you have, the better off you are to keep them away. Now on the side of my house here, we put gravel right next to, as you can see over there. And you can see, we put a lot of gravel out. You can see it behind me right now. And that tends to help a little bit too, but we haven't put it around here yet, around this cabana. And we're definitely gonna put it around this cabana here next. But I'm also going to start rubbing um, cinnamon out here or buying cinnamon, maybe buy big packages of cinnamon. It's kind of spread it out. And that'll also keep away some insects too. But peppermint is also a thing that might scare away snakes also. I've heard somebody has told me peppermint is really good. So you can get Bronner's peppermint soap, okay? And you can put it in a spray bottle and spray that around. And that you'd probably have to spray it every day because it breaks down pretty fast. Spray that. Um, spray the vinegar, um, the clove oil, all this stuff will help. But definitely, definitely get rid of anything with water in it. Fill in any holes that you have in walls and stuff. Fill all that in. Um, don't give them too many hiding places. Trim your trees. Trim down your trees. Keep your lawn less than an inch high. I mean, an inch or le less high. You know, just like, like that. That's it. It's all, anything higher than that, it gives snakes a place to hide. But better than that, either have gravel or have cement. They don't like cement. They like to stay away from it. Sometimes some snakes will tend to come up and sit on warm cement just to stay warm. There's not very often you see a snake on it. There's only a few breeds of snake like like um, that really like coming out into the sun. Most of them, they, they like a cool, damp place to stay. So if you have the gravel, the gravel is the best. If you're gonna have a backyard, uh, gravel lets your water drain away too, so there's no, you know, there's no pockets and puddles and stuff like that. And sometimes with cement, you have puddles that sit around, and snakes tend to like that because guess what? There's water. Um, the, the birds tend to go there. They tend to play there. You want to kind of keep that away. But be careful, guys. Do not touch snakes. Do not go near them. Do not, you know, unless you 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 know you have one of those grabber things um, that that will grab the snake. And even then, remember, a snake can spit or lunge at you. And if they spit on you, that can be just as bad as a bite if it stays on your skin too long. You want to get that, that stuff off your skin right away. And, and if you're playing with that snake and you just got spit at and you get it in your eye or something like that, there's a, there's, a, there's a chance that you can go blind from a cobra or whatever. 
um, there's the if you or if you get that venom in your eye or whatever on, on your skin it can be really really bad it, it, it can cause your skin to almost like rot away it's almost like um, flesh eating disease it's really really awful and a lot of the hospitals don't have some of the um, stuff the anti-venom so be aware of that don't play with these things at all don't touch them don't let you know and also if you want to really keep snakes away the best have a couple cats around now I don't have a cat and I, I don't like cats so I, I will and I'm allergic to cats so I won't get a cat I have my 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 buddy right here Watson and Watson Watson's a pretty good watchdog um, sometimes he tells us the snakes around here sometimes he's, he doesn't we don't see a terrible amount of snakes up close here. I see them in the trees, like probably like 10 or 20 feet away from me. Sometimes they're not bothering me, so I just figure, okay, they're on their own. They're trying to catch a bird. They're trying to do their thing. And I just kind of leave them alone most of the time. It's probably the best. I do notice though, um, we usually have a, 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 fair, a Philippine fairy bluebird that comes around here. I haven't seen that bird in, in a while, and I'm, I'm kind of worried that maybe a snake got him. Because down below here, it's covered with snakes. And the other thing is we also see uh, a red um, uh, parrot down here. It, it's a red bird, a red parrot. And we haven't seen that parrot for a while. You know, it's it's a small one, um, reddish with black. And we haven't seen him for a while either. And they used to come around here quite a lot. And I think sometimes... The snakes get them, or they're, or either that they just move to a different area. It's possible, but I do believe that I think with the amount of snakes around here, it does a job on the amount of birds also, because the snakes go up in the trees here. They're not like back in the U.S. where most snakes stay on the ground. Here they go up in the trees. They're climbing the trees. So when you walk by trees, be aware. When you walk by bushes and stuff on the ground, if there's high stuff there, they could lunge out of that that high grass or high bushes or something like that at you. Be aware in the Philippines because they do exist here. So when you go mountain climbing or rock climbing and you go on these trails in some of these these parks here in the Philippines, be aware that they're around you. You know, it, it, don't think because you're walking through a park that they're not there because they can be there. Are there a lot of uh, bites in the Philippines? No, not really. There are in some areas more, more than in others. If you're in an area where there's lots of jungle, be careful because there's a good chance you could probably get bitten here. Anyway, guys. Be careful, be aware. Remember, put gravel on the ground around around you. If you put up a cabana or something like that, make sure you do that. Put put gravel around it. It will keep the snakes away from, so they don't come inside and, and try to sit next to you like one of them did with me. Be careful. And also, you guys were asking about the snake in um in Pax's house. They never found that snake. We don't know where it is. We we think it could be in the refrigerator or it slivered out the back door, but the back door has walls all around it. So if he if he is out there, he might be in something out back there, like in the washing machine or what have you. It does make it kind of scary. God bless, guys. Take care.